Hey, Miss Mike, can you hear you, I think? Hey, can you hear me? Hey, hey, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay, so I'm pulling up the uh, pictures that you sent me. Yes. Should we start with the first picture, photo one? Uh, I'm not sure. Hold on. Uh, let me pull it out so that I could see what okay. you're talking about. Alright, um, it's A1. 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 One. Picture I have open shows B. Let's, let me pull up the other one. Um, he said not to do the B section. He just said uh, focus on the A section. Yeah, he said the B yeah, section. There's not, nothing on the test from the B section. It's only going to be uh, A section. Okay. Just opening up each of these pictures. Okay, A1. Let's see. <coughs> so just push that out there. So it says Bernie, whose mass is 70 kgs, leaves a ski jump with a velocity of 21 meters per second. What is Bernie's momentum? Correct? Yeah. 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 That's right. So what's given to us? The mass is given to us, which is 70, yeah. 70 kgs. Okay. So then what else is given to us? The speed is given to us, which is 21 meters per second. And when they... This whole chapter has really three equations that you want to remember. One is momentum, which they strangely use the letter P for. P equals mass times velocity, right? Uh, so this is your... Yeah. Okay. Okay. So your momentum becomes 70 times 21. What you always want to make sure about is the mass has to be in kgs and the speed has to be in meter per second. So that you, yeah, exactly. So momentum's unit is usually kg for the mass part and meter per second for the velocity. Yes. Is that fine? And this is uh, lowercase p. Okay. okay. This is lowercase p. The uppercase p is for, for power. Momentum. Yeah. For momentum. Yeah. The lowercase p is for momentum. Uppercase yeah. p is for power. Right? Yeah. So then this is a pretty straightforward question. Let's go to the next one. So sitting on a park bench, feeding the pigeons in a child book. Not grass. Giving it to the 2kg pocket book. Runs the ball to the child. Okay, hitting it with 2 kg pocket book with a speed of 20 meters per second. If the impact lasts for 0.4 seconds, what force does used to hit the ball? Okay. <clears throat> so um, this is the second equation we want to we will be using a lot of, which is force okay. times time, which is called impulse. Okay. Is the okay. is the change in momentum? Is the change yeah. in mass times velocity? Is that fine? Yeah. So, what have they given us? How would you know you'd have to use this equation? When I look at the question, I look at what's given. There's a mass, two kgs. Okay. There is uh, what else is given to us? There's a speed. And now, now it's a good time okay. to start thinking of speed as initial and final. Okay. 
So the speed is the velocity. Yeah. So when she's okay. returning the ball, what is the initial? So the speed is the velocity. Right. right. Sp yeah, speed is the velocity. And um, uh, is it the initial speed or is it the final speed that they gave us? And what is the so, initial speed and uh, what is the final speed? Returns the ball to speed. So it is the initial speed, right? Yeah. So, so, it'll be so she's final she's speed. giving the ball back to the child, right? Yeah. So that's so that. Means, yeah. Final. final speed because initially she so she got the ball so it's stationary so the initial so that's that. yeah yeah so the initial speed is zero that's also an important thing to notice there so initial speed is zero because she's the ball's with her it's stationary yeah. then she hits it. And then the final speed becomes 20. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then what's the last number they've given us? Time. Time is... So when I see this time, that's when I know, okay, this is the equation I have to use. So what is the time they've gave us? Time is 0.4 seconds. So we'll have... And it's asking for the 4, 8. Equals. And this change just means you want to do... Uh, mass times here. I'll write it here. Ma asking for the force. They're asking for the force. Exactly. Good. Yeah. I forgot to write that. What is being asked? The force is being asked. So that's when I know what equation ties up this force. The T, the V1, the VF, and the M. This is supposed to be an M. This M. It's this guy. So force times time equals change in mass times velocity. Mass doesn't change, but velocity is velocity final minus initial. So 20 minus Z. Okay, so I'm a little confused. So when you use this, this formula, true. right, you plug in is force. Is that fine? Yeah. yeah. So, so, then you, so, for, and then you do time, which yeah. is 0 0.4. And uh, then, force is what we're uh, looking for, so we don't get anything the M and the 20 yeah. minus 0 from. Right? This is what we're looking for in this yeah. formula. So, then you go for and then you do time, which is 0 0.4. Right. And then, uh, where did you get the uh, okay. and the 20 minus 0 That's, for the equation is, force times time is the change in momentum. Okay? So, what is momentum? Momentum is mass times velocity. This oh, is, okay. You see, mass oh, okay. times velocity. So when they yeah. say change, whenever you see this thing over here okay, change, what that means is that, so whatever is changing, okay. you got to so do final minus initial. So what is changing here? The, the speed. And in all these questions, it'll be the speed. The, so you'll always do the final, which so, is 20, oh, okay. minus yeah. the initial, which is yeah. zero. And, okay, I get to see that. Oh, okay, so then that's when you... So it's you uh, uh put the change, so you put the initial, you put the final yes. minus the initial, right? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, oh, okay, so then that's when you, you uh, uh put the change, so you put the initial, you put the final minus the initial. And then you also right. put the math. And I, I just did the, and I multiplied so everything by math. You know, you can do it. You would put, Does that make sense? Does the math make sense can't there? Can't you do it like two yeah. times? Yeah. Um, it's just, I just put the mass out. Zero. I factored the mass out. and I, I mean, I just left mass times. You can always use this equation. Final minus initial. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see that now. And then you also put the mass, right? And then you left that. Yeah, so that that's that. So then you put it. Can't you do it like two times? Uh, yes. Twenty minus zero. Yes. Uh, maybe if you so scroll down, maybe I've written that here. Do you see this? Oh, yeah, two instead of m, I should have put two, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see that now. Yeah. Okay. Um. So doesn't force become forty over point four? So yeah, it'd be a hundred. And would it be newtons? Because for uh, newtons for four. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. I got that. Yeah.
So. Yeah, it'd be a hundred. Oh, that's baby. awesome. Okay. Yay. And what are we using? Like, for, uh, Force, yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I could just, uh, for my email, I could just go back, click the you link. You can see a lot of that equation. So these sessions are, uh, these sessions are recorded, so you can always use the link to go back and watch yeah. this at home, okay? Okay. Oh, that's awesome, okay. Yeah, you can always that's watch fine. this again, so. If anything is, you know, you can always look at it, and if you still have doubts, you can ask me and we can go over it again, okay? So I can just, uh, for my email, I can just go back to the link. Yeah. yeah, but it'll take like an hour after our session for it to record and for it to be loaded. So it takes a little bit of time, but then after that, it's there. Yeah. So then you can always access it and go back. To it. So next question, when Reggie yeah. stepped yeah. up to the plate and hit a 0.15 kg fastball traveling at 36 meters per second, so we see that the mass is 0.15, right? What else did they give us? They gave us it's traveling at 36 meters per second. So this is before he hit the ball, it was traveling. So do you see how that's initial velocity? Yeah. Yes. And then yeah, after he hit, the impact caused the ball to leave his bat with a velocity. So do you see how that's final velocity? Yes. Yes, ma? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. Okay. It's and then we have time, so 0. 0.002 0. seconds. Is that fine? To the right. Yeah. It is so they're asking positive. us for the force. Now, the only thing you want to remember is velocity is a vector. So what does that mean? That means if one velocity is to the right, okay. it's going to be so positive. And if the other velocity is to the left, it's going to be negative. Is that fine? So if it's going to the right, yeah. It is positive. Yeah. So if it's negative. So okay. So in so this question, they don't really tell us which which one is going to the right and, and left. So I'm we have to sort of assume. Ball, we have to put right. Reggie in a um, place, so and we have to assume one of it is going to the left and one of it is right. going to the right. Is um, that fine? Cause the ball to leave his bat yeah. with weight. Because uh, we know it's going in opposite directions. They tell us that. The right? ball traveling at 36. Okay. So, that so would be positive, if you want a quick. Right? Yeah. And then when you get to back, it would be negative. So okay. wouldn't 45 meters per second be negative? Yes. And I was throwing the ball, right? Yeah. Um, that this was 36 meters per second, right? Yeah. Um, how the ball came back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you can choose either that, that you can choose 45 meters yeah. per second as the negative. The only most important thing is velocity, both of them have to be of different sign. Is that fine? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and I'll give you a trick for this question. Now, yeah, you're, you, right. yeah, you're putting yourself in that position. You're seeing right and left, but instead of that, here's a trick. So this is the formula, right? Force times time equals mass so, times velocity, correct? Yeah. So if the, the if the stop yeah, yeah, ch yeah. change in velocity, yes. Okay? I put the change in front, it means the same thing, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, whenever the speed is going in opposite directions, add the velocities. Whenever they're going in the same direction, subtract the velocities. Is that fine? Yeah. And then if they're going in different directions, you add or going in subtract them. Add them. Final minus initial. And if they're going in the opposite direction, add final plus initial. Yes, it does. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Yeah, opposite. Yes.
Yeah. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. So we'll say force times time, so which is force times 0 0.002, 0 .002 equals mass, which is 0.15. Usually I would do V yeah. final minus so V initial, but because in. they're going in opposite directions, I'll just yeah. add the numbers, so it'll be 36 plus 45. If you follow this trick, you don't have to worry about so putting positive and negative in front of the velocities. Zero. This makes it easier. Okay? And force would be 81, yes. 6,075 yep. meters. Yep, 0.15 times 81 will be your mass times velocity. Mm -hmm. Oh, two, right. Yes. No. Six thousand seventy-five. Six thousand seventy-five. Let me just check. I don't have my calculator. Point point five times eighty-one divided by point zero zero two is six thousand seventy-five newtons. Is that fine? Yes. Okay. Any doubts still here? Okay, yeah, and the more questions we do, it will become more clear. The U.S. Army's parachuting yeah. team, the Golden Knights, are on a routine jumping mission over a deserted beach on a jump. A 65 kg uh, knight lands on the beach with a speed of 4 meters per second, making a point two zero depth indentation in the sand. Oh, did you what average and force did the parachute hit the sand? So now, what all did they give us? They gave us mass. Distance. Right? What else did they give us? Uh, okay. It's the same thing. And what is that? Would that be the final? Or does it matter in this problem? Uh, yeah, they gave us height or let's call it distance, okay? Yeah. They, this will, because it'll be... If you call it distance, you can call it D, and you'll see final. an equation which we can use for that. So let's call it D. It's, it's four, distance so and height final. is just almost the same thing, and velocity is 4 meter per second. Yeah. Yeah, so it's initial. Or it doesn't matter in this. It doesn't matter as much. Well, uh, really? Lands on this beach. Yeah, it's always good to put final and initial. Okay, so when he lands on the beach, uh, no, he's landing with four, but doesn't he stop at the end? Yeah, so it's initial. It's initial, and final would be? Yes. Zero. But because final is zero, we don't really have to worry about it. You know, you don't have to, you don't, whether you add or subtract zero, you get the same number, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that much fine? Yeah. Now they're asking us for force. The difference in this question is, last question they gave us time, this time they gave us distance, right? Yeah. So then we have a different equation, which is, yeah. you don't have to, you can, this is just so that you understand, work done should be equal so to wait, the, what is the change what in is the kinetic example? energy. But what does that mean as an equation? What is work okay. done? Okay. This is what you want to remember. Force times distance equals okay. change in Kinetic energy meaning change in half mass times velocity squared. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. Of course, in this question, there's yeah. no one of the. So wait, what is the what is the W stand for? W is work done. Work equals yeah. Work is force times distance. So this is the equation you want to remember, really. But uh, what is force times distance? Work. And what is work equal to? Change in kinetic energy, which is this. Is that fine? Yes. So let's yes. plug it in. Force. What is distance? Distance is point 0.2. Half. 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 Half.
half what is mass, mass is 65. Since there is only one speed, we just have to square that. If there were two speeds, we'd have to subtract or add them. Uh, but in this, so this is just 2600 squared. Is that fine? So, uh, so we divide both sides by 0 0.2, so what do we get? Yeah. We have 4, 16 over 2, 8. Two thousand six hundred, yes. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. Moving on, let's go to question five. The late news report reports the story of a shooting in the city. Investigators think that they have recovered the weapon that they run ballistics tests on a pistol at fighting range. If a 0 0.05 kg bullet, so mass is 0 0.05. Um, what else did they give us? Speed were fired from the handgun with a speed uh, of 400 meters per second. Velocity and it and traveled 0 0.08 meters into the target before coming to rest. What force did the bullet exert on the target? What else did they give us Mr. this question besides the mass? Uh, they're asking us for force and we use the same equation that we had used. So it was the, Very good. the work Velocity done. Velocity so and distance again. Change in kinetic energy. Zero, eight, zero. So which equation do we use and what are they asking us for? Yes. Very good. Very good. Change in kinetic energy. Yes. Is that fine? Yes. So uh, let's okay. just plug it all in. So force times point zero. What the hell? Point zero eight equals half times what is mass? Mass is point zero five times velocity squared, right? So let me let me know what answer you get. Four hundred times four hundred times four hundred. Four hundred times four hundred. I got um fifty thousand newtons. Yep, fifty thousand. Is that fine? Next one. About fifty thousand years ago, in an area outside yeah. Flagstaff, Arizona, a giant five point okay, um, uh, four point five times ten to so seven kg meteor fell and struck earth, moving a hundred eighty meter deep hole now known as Barrington Crater. And the meteor was the traveling at 20,000 meters per second meters. upon impact. And what average force did the meteor have? Velocity, which is 20,000 meters per second. Okay. So, in this question, can you help me? Uh, can you tell me what's the given? Force? Yeah. So, the force times distance. Very good. 
Also, what is being asked? The force. Yeah. The force is being asked. Good. So those are our usual first two steps. So what equation ties all of this up? Uh, the force times distance. Very good. Force times distance. Of course, we don't do. We're not doing much with change because in every case they're stopping. So the one of the velocity is zero. So we don't really have to do much, you know. Yeah. So let's find the value. I'll plug. I'll plug it into my calculator. Let's see what we get. Can we put it in scientific form? Well, it's a huge number, I think. Uh, almost. Yeah. Did you get it? I got uh, yeah. um, 5 times 10 to the 13th newtons. Okay. Yep, Newton's. Yes. So A seven in November two thousand seven, the history second in the space shuttle commander flew the space shuttle discovery to the space station and off the space station released hooks holding the two spacecraft together. And the first seventy thousand one fifty away from the space station. Duh. Sprint. Okay. The space station. Okay. The, the mass, which is seventy six thousand seven hundred kilogram. What is the uh, relative speed of and the just the way this okay. Is okay. So now we're getting into. Okay. So let's Four. first write all the information down. There's um, what all is given to us? Large springs. And okay, and the velocity, which is zero point fifty meters per second. Right. Yeah. Uh, the second one. Yeah, that's not as important here. Uh, they are asking us how fast. That's for a second mass. So you see how in this question you have two masses, right? Yeah. And yes. for which yeah. mass are they talking about that velocity that you said? So. So the seventy six thousand seven hundred. The second, so I'll call it V two. Okay, mass. so now we're getting into a different and equation. We'll see how we can do that. And what are they asking for us? The first velocity, right? And the second. Okay, got it. Okay, I got it from there. So are they ask? Aren't they asking us for V one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So whenever you see these two masses, yeah. So go ahead. Sorry. Um, is the first 
Right. And they're asking for the first velocity. Yes. Right? Yes. And it's like, okay, got it. Okay. okay, I got it. So now this chapter is based on the idea of conservation of momentum, okay? So yeah. what what that means is whenever you have a collision, which this is sort of like a collision, everything is a collision. When you read this question, what are they saying? Uh, this The space shuttle is docked on the space station. Yeah. And while trying to undock, which is like a collision, all this stuff happens. So, so they were stationary be some, and then the space so shuttle tried to leave. Questions. So the space so shuttle, space station like moves a little bit. Does that make sense? Based question about this. Yeah. Like, this is the space shuttle. Was, this is the space station. The it's docked. This. Now this guy is trying to leave. But when, because of Wait, momentum, when this guy point? tries to leave, this point? moves a little bit this way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's the physics behind it, but how do you solve questions? A very easy formula. You say initial. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I see. Like, why would. Okay. Yes. So, why would there be a force pulling? There, there is no force pulling it. This arrow that I pointed is just this space shuttle trying to go to the left. It's trying to take off from the space station. Okay? There are no okay. forces in this question. Is that fine? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All I was saying is, okay. yeah, uh, what's a good example I'll tell you? If you're okay. sitting on a boat and the boat's stationary and if you jump out of the boat into the water, you will go forward, but the boat will go backwards, right? A little bit, okay? That's what happens. That's the idea here, okay? But as far as solving the question, I'll show you. It's nice and easy. Okay. So you, momentum is conserved in all collisions. Momentum so is conserved. What does that mean? The starting momentum will be equal to the final momentum. And whenever you have more masses, that means you have to write momentum for each of them. So mass 1 and has a momentum, mass 2 has a momentum, and this is the initial. And then mass 1 has a momentum, mass 2 has a momentum, this is final. Does that make sense? So once you write this equation out, you just have to fill it up. Now. Would be M1, the yeah. Uh, the the velocity we're 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 stalling for initial velocity. We have the final. Right. All um, of that the is The collision initial. happens. So it's like stuff from the last chapter that we did. Yes, it's very similar to how we solved that. Okay. Okay. Now let me ask okay. you. These speeds that we wrote down, this V1 or V2, yeah. is that initial or is that final? What, where is the collision happening? What is the collision here? Yeah, it's zero. Uh, the, the velocity, we're, we're solving for the initial velocity, we have a final. Um, the collision happens. Okay, okay, you said, you, you said you were solving for initial, let me tell you what happened here. The collision is actually the lady okay, in her spacecraft trying to take off, right? That's when the whole thing happens. So yeah. bef before she does that, isn't everything stationary? Yeah, it's true. It's so the velocity of the spacecraft mm -hmm. and the velocity of the space station, they both are zero. So the initial for this whole thing is zero because they were all stationary. Okay? Yeah. Then when she decides to go take off, her spacecraft goes forward, but because it's going forward, the space, sh the space station which she was on yeah. goes a little backwards. Okay? And yes, so we'll plug in those values. What is mass 1? Mass 1 is 76,700. What is velocity one? That's the velocity of the spacecraft. We don't know yet, right? 
plus what is mass two? Mass two is twenty three thousand two hundred. Uh, what two hundred thirty two thousand seven hundred? And what is velocity of the spacecraft? Uh, uh space station, point five. Yeah. yeah. So now can we solve for the speed? Okay, so let's do it, and I'll do it on my side too. Uh, is it one point five one second? No, I got a positive. But if it goes back, if it goes back, would it make it negative? No, I, I don't, why would it become negative? Yeah. Uh, is it 1.51? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Did you get a negative 1.51? Because when we move... If it goes back, would it make it negative? Yes. Yeah. And the answer should come out negative 2. Because when you move this big number to the other side, doesn't it become negative before you divide it by 76,700? Oh, okay. So when you move it... No, I... Don't know because you're having... So... Yeah. You see where I've written here mass times velocity? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah so. this part over here. Plus this number, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This number, when you calculate it, it's on this side of the, it's on the right side. You have to move it to where zero is. So you have to subtract it on both sides. So it becomes negative here, right? Does that make sense? When, yeah. this, when this goes from here to here, it becomes negative. Yeah. Then you divide it by this, so you get a negative answer. Yeah, you have to move it to the other side to find velocity, right? Yeah. Does that make sense or are you still a little confused about how we got... Yeah, okay. So that negative means, like you said, that negative should confirm what you were thinking. Yeah. It should tell you, okay, yes. That means if the space shuttle went uh, backwards, then she went forward, or the opposite. If the space shuttle went forward, she went backwards. Is that fine? So basically, the spacecraft, the spaceship went 0.5 this way, and she went 1.5 this way. Now, the second part of the question is, uh, what is the relative speed of the two spacecrafts as they separate? Uh, okay. Right? So, yeah. And what does relative speed mean? It just means uh, if... If there are two velocities, if they're in the same direction, add them. If they're in opposite directions, subtract them. So the relative speed would be 1.5 minus 0.5. Uh, and also for A, if it's, it's asking for the direction, right, wouldn't it go left because it's negative? That's a confusing question. Look at it again and tell me if all of that made sense. For A, it's, it's asking for the direction, right? Right. Where it go left because it's negative? It, all we know is it'll go opposite yeah, to the direction in which the other guys go. So move back. So here, here it's saying is if the 20, 232,700 kg space station moved back, right? You see in the question it says move back at a speed of 0.5? In part A in the question, the right? Side, right? So they're moving forward. Do you see that? If the 232,700 kg space station 
move back at a speed of 0.5. Do you see that? There's no, there's literally. Yes. Okay. Nothing. Then, which direction are is the space? Yeah. Then, which direction would uh, the spacecraft be moving forward? So that's what you'll have to say. If the space. Exactly. 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 The space station is moving back, so the space shuttle is moving forward. Yeah, so I was saying it's moving back, so it's going to be the opposite, so it's going to move forward. Okay. Is that fine, Disco? Uh, no, because I did not hear anything. Uh, wait, what? I didn't hear anything you just said. I think my connection was bad. Because it was just, it was, it literally just went, like, blank. I can't hear you anymore. Yeah, okay, that's what I meant. Like, I could not hear you. Yeah, I do. Hello, yeah. Like, for, I think, like, five minutes, I couldn't hear you. I thought you were, like... So, does that make sense? Because your voice just... It just yeah, that's fine. Goes away. I don't know. You did not hear anything? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, I was saying how... You know, the last thing... Oh wow, okay. Uh what about now? Do you hear me now? Yeah. I can't hear you okay, so okay. I so my only question was <laughs> yeah, if it was okay, negative it'd be like going the opposite. Hear. So Got gotcha. you. Yeah. So okay. I think there's a lag. I think so there's the a front with the back, so it would be going back. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And for the seven B how did okay, you get there's that? There's a huge lag for sure. Let's see. What about now? Are you yeah, yep. what is the relative speed? Yeah, I can hear you. Yep. Yeah. So all I was saying was how the numbers? space station moves back, so yeah. the spacecraft moves forward, that's all. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I told my uncle, if it was negative, it would be going the opposite. So, 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 and for okay. the 7B, yeah. how did you get that again? Oh, for and 7B, same shift um, as that, right? When they say relative speed, yeah. what is the relative speed? Yeah. Since, oh, yeah. The, since so they're going in opposite directions, I would just subtract. Um, yeah, yeah. Is it for the since, velocity? Since they're, they're oh, going yeah, in opposite velocity. directions, you so subtract would, the numbers uh, because what relative speed I means is it's add, the speed in no, relation to the other guy. So. Point, if uh, you're moving in so opposite directions, you subtract the numbers, right? and that's your answer. If they're, they're going in the same direction, you add the numbers, and that's the answer. So then I would subtract one negative one point five minus zero point. So it would be one. Oh, and if they're going in the same direction, you add them, right? Yeah, if you're going in the okay. same direction, you add them. Okay. So I would just yeah. subtract. Oh, uh, okay. Is it for the velocity? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Right. So I would just um I would add so I would subtract zero point uh so you do final minus initial, is that right? Yes. Uh just a minute. I had my white out here. Oh okay, here we go. Um so then I would subtract 
So let me just fix that. One negative one point five minus zero point. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, Bisma. Uh I, I confused you there. Let me say that again, okay? Okay. Let me say that again. Okay. If if they're going in opposite directions, you add, and if they're going in the same direction, you subtract. Oh, okay. okay. So I I myself can confuse myself there. Right? What is the answer going to be? It's going to be 1.5 plus. So it wouldn't it be? It would be negative. It would be negative 1.5 plus 0 0.50. Okay, you just okay. No, no, you said if they're going opposite directions, you subtract them, right? Because so like you said, it's V final minus okay. V initial. That's what relative speed is. Okay. So but our V so in, our V one of the V is zero. And one of the V negative, is negative. So it'll become positive. It, but instead of remembering change. that, just remember this. And if they're going in the same direction, positive. subtract them. Right? If they're going in opposite direction. So it'll be negative, it'll be negative one point five plus zero point five. No, no, no. It'll be ne it'll be negative of negative, so you, you uh, just add the numbers. It'll be one point five plus point five, because this okay. will be. Okay, you just okay. No, no. You said if you're going off the direction, you subtract them, right? So I get what you mean. By, right? Yeah, because you, you do. You just keep using it again. Okay. You okay. do keep change, so change, right? The rule is that if it's an opposite direction, you subtract them. But if it's a negative and you're subtracting it, then you do keep change, change. And it turns into positive. Is that right? That's that's right. Okay, but let me just tweak it a little bit. Okay, just stay stay with me. Okay. In all cases, you subtract. When they say relative, you're subtracting. Okay. Okay. But when they when you when they say relative, you're subtracting. But because okay. one is negative, it becomes addition. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Okay, so if I could instead of remembering it like yeah, that. Direction, yeah. You subtract them opposite directions. Exactly. You change, change, and it becomes both of them becomes added. So in, instead of remembering okay. that two step process, so same that is always subtract, and because subtract, one is negative, you add. I was saying if they're moving away from each other, add. add the numbers. That's your answer. If you if they're moving toward uh, with each other. Subtract the numbers, that's your answer. Then you don't have to worry about change, change, and all that stuff. Does that make sense? Or did I confuse you more? Yeah. Okay. okay so if I could get this right again. Same direction, you subtract them up. Direction, you add them. And don't worry about the signs. Okay. Okay. Okay? It because would be same two. Direction, you subtract. Right. And opposite you add. Right. Yeah. So in this case they're going opposite, so you add one point five plus point five. Okay? You don't use the negative sign. In this if you use this rule, you're not using negatives or positives. You're just adding yes, or subtracting this, with this rule. Does that make sense? It would be two. Two, yes. Yeah. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. So next question. Uh, what all have they given us? Tyrell throws his 0.2 kg football and then there's another 0.8 kg antique vase, right? So there are two masses. Do you see that? Okay, so the football bounces straight back with the speed of... Okay, so one is mass uh, one, one is mass two. Back. Oh, that's the final. You're able to so see me like right over here, right? Mass. Yeah, mass one. Yeah. It shows you the whole page, okay. Now, now they're talking after the collision, the football bounces straight back with a speed of 3.9 meters per second. So what is what is that? Is that the final speed of the mass one or the final speed of the mass two? Yes. Okay, so the football bounces straight back with the speed of 
final. That's the final of the yes, which yes, it is. of mass one, right? Uh, yeah, mass one. Good. So mass. So I'll call this final. I'll just put a F here for final. But I'll say final here. Yeah. Okay. And that is what is that? That's three point nine. Is that fine? while the vase is moving at 2.6 meters per second in the opposite direction. So isn't that the final velocity of the vase? So if you have all of them, what are you solving for? Yes. Okay. So then they're asking you how fast did Terrell throw the football? If the foot So you mean initial? How fast did he throw the football? Is that fine? Yeah. So what is our equation? Mass one plus velo mass one velocity one plus mass two velocity two okay. equals mass one velocity one plus mass two velocity two. This yeah. is final. This is initial. All right. So if you have all of them, what are you solving for? We're solving. Do we have the speed with which he threw the football? Yeah. Initial, yep. We don't have the initial stuff, right? Zero. Yeah. Good. We don't have the initial velocity of the ball. That's what we're solving yeah. for, right? Okay. So, into mass one, what will I plug in? I'll plug in point two. Is that fine? Yeah. Velocity one is the velocity of the football before it hit the antique vase, which is what we're trying to find. Is that fine? Mass 2 is 0.8. What is the speed of the vase before it was hit? Yeah. Zero. Zero. Very good. It's stationary, right? Mm, no. Then this is all the final stuff. So this is the mass of the ball after it hit the thing and its speed was 3.9. Then this is mass plus this is mass of the ball, yes. a mass of the vase after it was hit, which is 0.8 times. The vase went in the opposite direction, so n negative 2.6. So this will be a negative here. Is that fine? Yeah. Um, hold on. Any confusion till here in this line that I'm writing right now? So we get 3.9 minus 0.8 times 2.6. Is that fine? Yes. So now can't we find the answer? Let's do it on my side. Okay, so I got negative Uh, I think I did something wrong, but I'm just checking right now. Um, so I got negative hold on. Eight. 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 Mm, let me let me do that again. Maybe I did wrong. I got six point five. Negative six point five. Okay, I'm doing something. Hold on, let me. I'm doing something wrong because I'm getting like the different numbers each time. Okay. 
I got 6.5. Now I'm getting 20.4. Okay. Okay, I'm doing something. Hold on. No, I'm doing. Hold on. Let me let me try again. Try. Make sure everything is in parentheses when you uh plug stuff in. Two, 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 eight, zero point eight. Okay, well, I think what's happening is the do this number first and then subtract it from the. Are you doing are you doing 0.2 times 3.9? No, I'm doing No, I got 14.3. Okay, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Uh, Okay, so I put zero point twenty and then the um initial velocity plus zero point eight times zero. So that would cancel out. Two yeah, zero point two times three point nine plus zero point eight times negative two point six. What I'm doing wrong. Okay. Uh, do each term by term. What, what terms do you have there? What have you written? Mm -hmm. Okay, so point 0.20. Okay. No, no, it's it's. So do you see what I've written here? Do you have this line? Do you have point two times three point nine? Yeah, but uh, the yeah the times negative two point six. Yeah, or you negative can just put the negative in front, so it'll be point two times three point nine minus point eight times two point six. Right. Mm -hmm. So what do you get when you multiply? The uh, point two times three point nine. What do you get? It's zero point three point. Point negative zero point zero. I don't know why it's not. Hold on. Point eight times two point six. Point nine. No negative zero point zero. Yeah, I don't get that number. You see, these are the numbers I'm getting. I'm when I multiply 0 0.2 uh, times 3.9, I'm getting 0 0.78, and when I multiply 0 0.8 times 2.6, I'm getting 2.08. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm putting in the calculator, and then I divide it by 0 0.20, and it's giving me 14.3. Yeah, point, yeah, two point, yes. And then don't, two point eighty six. Huh? I thought you add those numbers. Because yeah, it's the formula, right? And then I divide it by zero point twenty. So you got point seven eight yeah. minus yeah. two point zero eight. Yeah. What is the number you get? Is what is the number you get? One point three, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. When you subtract those two numbers, do you get one point three? I think you add those numbers. Why would you add those numbers? Oh, I see. It's mass times velocity okay. over here, right? 
you see what I've written here? It's negative the whole time. Why is it negative? Because the second velocity is negative, right? It's negative 2.6. What happened to the negative in front of 2.6? Okay. It makes the whole thing negative, exactly. So you subtract the two numbers. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So just just watch when I. That's why I write it out here. So if you follow the steps when I'm writing it out, you'll see if there's a mis there's a change in what you're doing. Oh, I see. Okay. And then once you get one negative one point three, you divide that by one two. Um yeah. The football So how do you find you it? get it? Okay. Yeah. So part B it says how fast did Terrell yeah. throw the or if the football continued to travel at 3.9 meters per second in the same direction it was thrown, would the vase have to be more or less than 0.8 kgs? Okay. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. What's changed here? They've just changed what they've given us now. What have they changed? They're now saying, before they gave us everything and they told us to find the initial V1, right? Yeah. Now we know that the initial V1 is 3.9. They're asking us to find M2. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because they're saying if the football continued to travel, this is this is what. Uh, no, okay. Let, let's see. Let's see what's up. If the football continued to travel at 3.9 meters per second. Okay, so let's look at it again. What have they given us there? Football continued to travel at 3.9 meters per second. So what is that? That is the speed of the football, correct? After it has hit. So that's the. Yeah. That's the final speed of the football so I'll say 0 0.2 yeah. times 3.9 final speed of the football the the vase is moving at 2.6 so the vase is yeah, so this is sense. minus remember minus m2 times 2.6 mm. and initially what was yeah. happening Closes the living room and knocks over his. And what was this? The starting speed. The starting speed we found that because to be one point three, right? The velocity, the initial, the final yeah. velocity was zero. Does this make sense to you? It's yeah. the same equation again, but we have to just fill in the information all over again. Mass of the ball. What speed yeah. was? What? Yeah. What speed was the ball thrown at? Where did we get this 1.3 from? We got the 1.3 from the last part. We found out how fast he threw the ball, right? Okay. Yeah. And then what What did we do here? Why is, okay, why yeah, is this okay. zero? Because the, the velocity uh, that is... Uh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I do have time after... The um, initial you know, velocity of the vase so is zero, exactly right? Right? Yeah, the vase is not moving. So you throw the ball. So that's what this equation. So that's what this equation looks like. You throw the uh, ball at 1.3, at a zero, at a vase which is not moving. Yeah, that. that what do you okay. get for m? Then you solve for m. Okay. 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 I'm just going to quickly break down the next two questions yeah, no, because I'm I have good. to leave I'm, now. I'm at home okay. Home. I'm home till oh, okay. Yeah. Till 11. Uh, or did okay. you have time after okay. 9? Thank you. You bye. just wanted to cover up to A11, correct? Yes. Uh, I, yeah, I do have time after um, 9. Yeah. So, at exactly 9? 